So my daughter brought me this paper and it says um, Parent Guardian Survey for Transition Planning Plans for the Future. This survey is intended to help you begin thinking about what you would like your son or daughter to be doing when he or she finishes high school. This information will also serve as a guide to your son's daughter's teachers in deciding which classes and educational experiences he or she should have to help them success should other than good sentence structure here should have to help them successfully transition from high school to the adult world. Okay, really? <laughs> Alright. So this information will be updated on a yearly basis. I'm sorry. You lost me at the first sentence. Um okay. So this survey is intended to help you, meaning me, help me begin thinking about what I want my son or daughter to be doing when he or she finishes high school. Um, that's really up to her, her choice, what she does with her life. Um, here's, here's how I raise my kids. I raise my kids to think for themselves. Yeah, so that's how I raise my kids. As far as their careers, you know, in middle school, high school, it's still a, a developmental um, process for them. Um, there are a lot of people who have gone through school with the idea of, I'm going to be a doctor, I'm going to be a lawyer, I'm going to be a policeman, I'm going to be this one set thing. And then um, they get into it, it's not what they imagined it would be, or they get into it, they love it. But then they think, uh, I, this isn't what I want anymore. My, my, my ideas, my choices, my personality, it's changed. You're, you're constantly growing as a person. You are not the same person today that you were yesterday, and you are not going to be the same person tomorrow that you are today. So, so everybody changes, everybody grows. And to sit there and say that you're going to follow this direct and linear uh, process it it denies the very fundamental basis of what human beings are. We are constantly growing. We're constantly changing. I think part of that belief system um, in this paper that I got, um, I think part of that is why so many marriages fall apart. It's because people do not understand that that person that they married that is not the same person that they are married to today. That person changes they grow um so you so you have to accept each other for who you are accept your differences and you also have to um be independent of each other and have your own happiness your own pursuits but at the same time you have to do things together and and you just you just love somebody for who they are so if i as a parent if my child doesn't want to be, you know, let's say I I decide that I want Alana to be a nurse, but Alana wants to be an artist. So, whose whose choice, whose opinion matters more? Okay, am I always going to be there for her? No, I'm not always going to be there for her. At some point in her life, I may not be around. I'm, you know, so she has to learn how to how to make these choices and do these things on her own, and that is what I as a parent. And responsible for I am I as a parent am responsible for teaching her how to navigate her world and and to think for herself and to make the best possible choices because it is her life and it is her choices and I don't get to make those decisions for her. My job as a parent is to educate and teach her how to make those choices for herself. So that is why I object to that paper and. We'll be having a conversation about that at school. So, thank you.